Hello everybody. Today I will show you how to create employees in SAP with ABAP without using the transaction PA30. Normally you use the transaction PA30. I have opened this transaction here. And if you want to create a new employee, you have to click on actions, then on new, and you have to set the hiring action. So for example, for a new position. Here you can uh, fill out the action type, the reason for action and the personal area, the employee group and the employee subgroup. Depending on this, you get the different number range for your employee number. PA30 is a common method for maintaining employee data, but there are more efficient ways to do this directly via ABAP. In this video, I explain step by step how to do this. First, we call the function HR pet hire employee. And we see we have here some exporting and uh, importing parameters. First, we need the hiring date, action type, then the reason for action, then a generic tab, PNN and tab, and some importing tables and structures. So for the hiring date, I picked the actual, the current date, the datum. Action type is, in my case, UB, reason for action 20. And the PNNN tab. Now we need the, the structure for this type. So we press here, uh, control space. And we see here, the, the type is PRELP tab. Then we go uh, we, we pick a name here, LT underscore P N N N and no commit. We remove the X here because we want the commit. And here for the importing parameters, I type here the different structures and tables. So I pick here the same name. And then we go to the data, the, uh, to the uh, declaration of the variables. First, we start with the generic table LT P N N N. This is of type P R E L P underscore tab. And then we go on with the importing structures. So it's return tab, RP P A key tab is okay. And modified keys tab. So this is of type HR pad return tab then hr pet copy pa key tab and this is the next the is okay is uh, of type bool underscore d and last again type hr pet p is key tab And if you press here control space, you see the different type types of the exporting and importing parameters. Okay, so next we need the structure for the info type one. And this is the organization assignment. And we can set this info type here directly. So We uh, declare here this structure for the info type one, and then we need the structure for the generic info type P N N N N. And this is like line of my generic table, which I have declared here above LT underscore P N N N N. Okay. Now let's fill some mandatory fields for the info type one. So first the info type, second, the end date then we need a begin date here I pick the current date then we need a personal area then the employee group and the employee subgroup so these in the transaction are this these fields here so be aware that you use a, a valid a combination of these different groups. 
so that it works. And after we set here the mandatory set of the info type one fields, we can we we have to to do a, a cast of this uh, uh, structure to the generic type, and we do this with the class clhrp -N 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 -N, type cast p n n n n two p uh, p r e l p. So we have here uh, one exporting parameter and one importing parameter. The exporting parameter is our info type structure from the info type one, and the importing parameter is here our generic structure lspnnnn. -N -N -N. And then we have to append this generic structure to the generic table lspnnnn2ltpnnnn. Oh, there are a lot of lot of ends here but the end stands for the info type the four ends okay so uh, next we can set here a breakpoint and then we can uh, activate the code and we can check the program so i use here the sap gui window because the letters are bigger here so I click on execute okay we have the debugger here then we do a double click on the return tab uh, to check if there is an error no no entry here that's good and in the Bobby BAK tab we should find the employee number so here we have it this is the uh, employee number which we got so is okay it's okay and here are the modified key tabs from the info type one we see here yeah start date end date and so on so then we go back to the code so that and we can open here the transaction pa20 to check if the record uh, is created so we paste here the personal number yes and if we press on enter we see here the the created employee data set we see here the two info types are set the info type one ah the info type zero the action info type built with one record and if we pick here the info type one the organizational assignment we see here one entry two so that works pretty well now we can go back to our code and we can remove the breakpoint and we can uh, write the uh, personal number out so we found this in this structure bobby pak underscore tab first record employee number Okay, activate and we run the program again. And if we run this here, we see, okay, next generated personal number. If we do this again, we get the next personal number. So that works pretty good, I think. And um, for the example today, I have added only the information for the info type one but you can do this for every info type you need or you want you only have to set the structure for the info type as i did with the structure lsp001 and then you have to cast this info type and you to the generic info type structure and you have to append this to the generic table yes in the end as always don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments Take care and see you in the next video.